You know what really sucks? When a man ignores you. That's why in this video, I'm going to explain why men do it and I'll show you two simple but powerful texts that will turn things around and make him regret it immediately. Don't go anywhere because this video is a must see. Being ignored by a man you care about is very painful and frustrating. So why do men do it? Well, there are only two main reasons that explain 99% of all situations. That's right, in nearly every situation, a man gives you the silent treatment because either one, he wants you to feel bad so he can manipulate or control you, or number two, he ignores you because he really doesn't care about you. Now, I know that these two reasons are both terrible, but there is a very important difference between them. And knowing his reason, knowing his motivation for ignoring you is crucial so that you can use the right strategies to reverse the situation and make him regret his immature behavior. That's when you will get his undivided attention like never before. So let's get started with number one. He's ignoring you because he wants you to feel bad so he can manipulate or control you in some way. Now, men do this when they are angry or disappointed and want to punish you. They do it because they want you to feel bad Bad, or they want you to feel insecure and uncertain. He wants you to feel that anxiety and he hopes that it will make you plead for him to communicate with you. And if you do that, it puts the power and control in his hands. Now, don't get me wrong. This is absolutely not a healthy way to solve any dispute or disagreement. And the silent treatment is tremendously damaging to your relationship because it reduces the capacity for healthy and meaningful communication in the future. So I'm gonna tell you exactly how to handle this manipulative behavior in just a minute. But first, I want to tell you the second reason a man might be using the silent treatment to manipulate you. And that is when he is playing games and pretending not to care. You see, some men believe that they have to play hard to get in order to keep your interest. And this is a powerful form of manipulation and it can be very effective, especially when done to people with low self-esteem. But even if your self-esteem is very high, being ignored by a man you like is confusing and frustrating. And that's exactly what he wants you to feel. He wants you to experience that uncertainty and that worried feeling so that you'll be more receptive to him when he does communicate. In fact, he's banking on the possibility that that you will want him even more as a result of your fear of losing him. So how do you turn this around? Well, first, do your best to find out what is wrong and don't give him the silent treatment back. If one or both of you need space, establish that. And since communication is often the issue, try to discuss and understand the situation. But if your attempts to communicate go unanswered, you need to take a different approach. Remember, he's looking for a reaction from you and a sense of control. And he gets that when you continue to reach out and call and text and beg him to talk to you. And that just leads to continued disdain and contempt and silence and it further reinforces his behavior. That almost guarantees that he will ignore you again. Instead, if he continues to ignore you after a day or so, Consider sending this final message to him. You may want to pause the video so that you can write this down exactly as I say it. Hey, I see that you're not responding to me. I'm not sure why, but I want to understand why you are angry or upset or sad. If you're not ready to talk or if you need space, I understand. But the silence is hard for me, so could you let me know? Maybe we can find a time to talk in the next few days, but I cannot continue with this relationship if you keep shutting me out. And that's it. No more than that. Now, most of the time, that text is enough to get an immediate response. But sometimes, it might take a day or so. That text also completes your job. Now, the ball is in his court and it's his turn to communicate with you. So, after you send that text, you must let it go. Sit back and wait for him to respond. That means no more texts or calls from you. And don't worry, he will quickly notice when you've stopped. And that's when the tables get turned. Trust me, if he is ignoring you to manipulate you in any way, he will not push it too far because he doesn't want to lose you. He just wants more of your attention and is using this as a manipulative tactic. By the way, I'm Dr. Antonio Borello and I'm a psychologist and a relationship coach. This channel is all about helping you build great relationships so you can grow happy together. So hit subscribe, join our community and make your love life the best part of your life. Now, let's go on to the second reason why he could be ignoring you, and that is he just doesn't care that much about you. You see, if he goes days and days without responding to you or seeing you, and you don't know why, then he doesn't care about you that much. 
That's because when a man wants you, he makes it known beyond a shadow of a doubt. He pursues you. He's constantly texting you, calling you, and wanting to see you. When he really wants you, it's usually very obvious. In fact, he probably even lets you know in advance if he's going to be away from his phone or unavailable for a while. And ignoring you is the last thing he would ever do because he would be afraid of disappointing you or losing you. Again, if he is pretending not to care, he may make you wait before responding, but he certainly won't go days and days without responding. And if he's ignoring you to punish you, you probably already know that he's angry. So if it's not these last two, then he's ignoring you because he just doesn't care. In this case, he may be stringing you along or using you as a placekeeper until someone better comes along. And of course, if he's doing that, he's certainly not going to tell you. Instead, his behaviors will often reveal much more about what he's really feeling. And as they say, actions speak louder than words. I know this can be a difficult truth to accept. We often choose to believe that someone is just busy or naturally bad at texting, which is why they are ignoring us. But don't believe that for a minute. Everyone knows how painful it is to be ignored. If he's ignoring you, he really isn't concerned about your feelings. Or maybe he's trying to break up with you, but doesn't want to deal with the confrontation of hurting your feelings. He would rather fade out of your relationship than end it properly. So if he no longer initiates communication and is very slow to respond with one or two word answers, then he's using ignoring you as a breakup method. He's hoping that you'll eventually get fed up of being ignored and end the relationship yourself. Or you'll just stop trying and the relationship will fizzle out without any kind of confrontation. So what can you do about this situation? Well, instead of being strung along, tell him this. If this isn't working out for you, I understand. I just need to know so I can move on without any doubt or hesitation. Then if he wants to break up, you've just given him the opportunity. And if he doesn't want to break up, it gives you an opportunity to have a conversation and communicate your needs and expectations for the relationship. Now, there are a small minority of situations that don't fit into the two categories that I've talked about so far. So if you try the solutions and send the text that I've just described and you're still being ignored, it's going to become very frustrating. So frustrating that it can lead you to engage in behaviors that are completely unlike you. You may be tempted to do things that make you feel out of control. That's why I need to tell you about the things that you absolutely must not do, regardless of how angry or frustrated you become. So keep watching because if you do these things, you're ruining your chances of making things work out. Number one, don't keep calling and texting. If there's a legitimate reason why he's not responding as much, over texting or over calling just to get an answer will come off as possessive and insecure and a little crazy. Trust me, he's seeing your calls and texts. Besides, if he didn't see that you've been trying to reach him, shouldn't he be concerned and reach out to you? So yeah, he's seeing that you reached out. If he still doesn't respond after a week, you may need to come to grips with the fact that you're being ghosted. Number two, no begging and pleading. Regardless of how much it hurts, you can't beg or plead with the person to stay with you. When you do and when you get rejected, you will only feel more hurt and feel helpless and frustrated. Besides, begging and pleading will make him cringe and feel sorry for you. And if he's trying to ignore you because he can't handle confrontation, he will certainly move further away from you if you're begging and pleading. So don't do it. Number three, don't resort to hurtful insults or name calling or picking a fight. Now, of course you're angry, but confrontations and insults and personal attacks will be something that you later regret. So don't do it. Number four, no hunting and haunting. Hunting involves going to places with a high probability of running into your ex. You do that because you're hoping for a sudden and dramatic change of heart after a coincidental meeting. On the other hand, haunting refers to stalking behaviors like driving by his home or monitoring his social media sites, hoping to see that nothing in his life has changed. These hunting and haunting behaviors are detrimental to you for several reasons. First, they require you to spend considerable time and energy thinking about him and what he's doing. And when you find evidence that he's moved on, you'll make unfavorable comparisons to your life and ruminate about your loss. And far too often, the information you learned is incomplete and you become more curious. Look, I know how frustrating it is to feel like you're being ignored. It can be a powerful form of abuse. But sometimes it happens in the middle of a heated argument and temporary silence can be healthy, especially if it avoids exacerbating the situation or to avoid saying something that is later regretted. But remember, if someone is deliberately giving you the silent treatment as a method of control or punishment, 
That's abusive. It's not problem solving. And yes, no one would ever knowingly dive headfirst into an abusive relationship. The problem is emotionally abusive relationships don't start off as abusive. In fact, they may start off as incredibly intense and passionate love affairs. So if you're being ignored because a man is trying to manipulate or control you, there's a good chance that you're getting into an abusive relationship. I talk more about how that could happen to you in this video or click here to watch the video that YouTube thinks that you'll like. I'll see you in the next video.